everybody, my name is Cole Whip. We're here in game. We're gonna go ahead, slap this pack a punch, swing, keep this camo. But there is one gun right now that is dominating inside of Warzone. It's dominating Resurgence. It is the MW3 pistol, the Renetti, with the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit that turns this pistol from a pistol to an SMG. And if it's meta in Warzone and it's meta in Resurgence, is it also meta inside of zombies? I have not used this gun at all since I did the camo grinding, so I can't really speak for it right now, but we are gonna give it a shot. We're gonna head on into the tier three zone. We're gonna get this worked up. We're gonna do one of the older sigils, either the new or the old. We'll kind of see which one, but there's already somebody going for that. So we're gonna go ahead, grab this bounty to get started. I do make videos every single day here on the channel. If you like the content, please smash that like button. About 80% of you watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel, so please hit that sub button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. If you'd like to stay up to date with me or find somebody else to play with inside of Zombies, the link to our Discord is down in the comments below. But we're going to go ahead, we'll pick up this bounty, and then I will see you when we get there. Hopefully we get something good. What's it going to be? Okay, Omega Abomination. Let's get right into the action. This fight's gonna take a little bit of time. We probably should have done a different contract rather than a bounty. Uh, we're, oh, well, we took out one head already, so that's good. But we're only pack a punch two. We don't really have any perks. We only have speed cola and juggernaut. We'd have no dead shot. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take our time with this fight, but we're doing really good damage against these zombies. And at pack two, this is really giving me is really giving me some high hopes once we do get to pack a punch three with this thing dang that that mangler is just all over me but yeah we'll take our time with this fight we'll get there all right we got another laser attack incoming let's see if we can take advantage of this one try to get in close because we don't have like the best range i think it's like 15 meters which i guess honestly isn't too bad for really the smgs 15 meters is a pretty good close range gonna throw the monkey bomb out here let's get a few of these zombies off of us maybe we can Hit some more criticals with this guy. He doesn't really want to show us his eye very much. And oh man, we just attract. Now I want you all to take note of that right there because we are using a silence weapon on this gun right now. We have a silencer on and we were not attracting all of those zombies. But when I threw that monkey bomb, that attracted all of those zombies that weren't being attracted to us originally. So just some more proof there that suppressors do indeed work because if I was using like the Jack BFB muzzle, we would have attracted all of those zombies the same as that monkey bomb did from the area. So just, uh, yeah, a little bit more proof in the pudding there. Dead shot, I'll take it. So as long as you just take your time, if you're only pack a punch too, you're gonna be able to get this done, no problem. As you can see here, we finally finished off the fight. We just took it slow made sure we took out the zombies we didn't even go down not even once i know y'all probably don't believe that but yeah i didn't i didn't go down trust me i i can't aim but i didn't go down all right let's go ahead and get this to pack three and we can really see what this gun is capable of now all right we got a mangler to test it out on oh yes gone how about this zombie gone let's go Okay, now I'm really excited for this gun. Let's park our Jeep so where it gets nice and repaired for us. And let's see what this Mangler can do to us. Or more so, what can we do to it? Just, we're just, the, oh my gosh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead, let's go. Oh yes. Oh, that was incredible. That was incredible. Okay, we got some money. Let's go ahead and get perked up. We're going to go ahead and just grab the rest of them while we're here. Kill these couple of stragglers here, and then we'll get back in the Jeep and we'll find something to do. We were lucky enough to get a bounty contract, which is right over the hill. But first, I want to try out this stronghold. If we can get it to spawn in. Come on. There we go. All right, I want to try out this stronghold in oh, nest crawlers. I hate nest crawlers. They're, they're the absolute worst. I've probably been needlessly needlessly killed by nest crawlers more than anything in this game because you don't see them down there at your feet and suddenly you get stuck on them and then a whole horde of zombies get you, whatever. Y'all know the story. You know how it goes. 
look at this. This gun is... This would be obviously so much better if you had mags of holding with this gun. The reload is a little bit slow, which is fine, whatever. Every gun can't have a super fast reload. It would be nice if it did. But if you have a mags of holding with this Renetti, oh, that would be absolutely on point. I mean, just, yeah, we are, I mean, we're in a little bit of a pickle, but we're not in a little bit of, like, we're able to just get out of it. We can just shoot our way right out of it. It doesn't shoot overly fast, so that 100 rounds is kind of going a long way. So, yeah, this, this is nice. We're almost done with this. We only got a few more here to go. These couple that are sneaking up behind us, okay. All right, get these two. Oh no, a mimic. Oh, there was a mimic in here. That's probably gonna kill us. Oh, now we're stuck. Yep, ah, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. You can always judge how aggressive you play just based on how many self revives you hit. got. I had a few of them in my bag, so what do I care if I go down? You know, honestly, I'd, there's nothing much to care about, but we're taking out, we're taking all this out so nice and easy. Yeah, this gun is already having a ton of fun, so I think we're going to work toward maybe going to the old Dark Aether this match. It's been a long time since I've done a solo Elder in the old Dark Aether. Now, while all of it is possible to do without a VR-11, why would we do it? Because we have a VR-11. So we'll probably get a triple pack before the end of this match and we'll we'll take it to the old dark ether, I think. So definitely stick around for that. We're gonna we're gonna run through that. But we'll go ahead and head on down here and get this bounty mimic down here. Oh yes. Alright. Alright, he should be right over here. There he is. Oh, he's already throwing spitballs at us what kind of range we got here. I mean, we're doing okay damage. I don't really know how far away he is there, but that was definitely not close range. And we got him about halfway already. Take out some of these zombies that are surrounding him here. And come on. Almost there. Oh yeah. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. All right. Let's see. Anything in this reward? Nah. Not that we really need much right now, but okay. All right, just finishing up this Outlast contract here. We're at 100%. Nothing too exciting. This was super simple with this gun, so let's just see. Do we get anything here? No. I mean, we're getting some essence, which is going to help us, but otherwise we're not getting much for rewards this game. I think that's because I already put out the video yesterday with the Tier 3 season three tier three rewards that video went out yesterday so if you didn't catch it go ahead check that out on my channel all the numbers are in for that okay i ran around and threw all the inhibitors killed a couple of these my goal here was to get the largest horde that i could possibly get and then just see what we can do to tear through these and i think we just about got it so let's go just keep hitting those criticals and you just insta delete these zombies i don't know how many are here there's there had to there's got to be a hundred of them we're awful close to it and look at that that horde is just gone just like that and that's without mags of holding you could have done that even that much faster if you had mags of holding and now we got that mang manglers are so annoying their little lasers, just so annoying. Their arm cannons, whatever you want to call them. Whatever. We'll, uh, I guess we'll just turn him. The entire lobby, aside from, like, three people, are in the tier three zone. And there's this guy that is down out in the storm. So let's go ahead and let's get him revived, because what are we if not heroes? Let's go grab him. All right, we made it to him. We'll throw down our energy mine so we can get him, maybe, if it'll let me revive him. Now, he did promise us the Golden Skull, so that's 5,000. That'll help us get a couple things to go to the Dark Aether, but I don't think he's going to drop it for us. He didn't. He didn't drop it for us. Let's take him out of the storm. Let's see if he'll come with us, and maybe he'll drop it for us when we get back over into Tier 3 here. Uh, which way do you go? Okay, there we go. I'm back on track now. Oh, and now he jumped out. 
he promised us the golden skull. Ah, man, whatever. I kind of wanted that 5k though, but whatever. I'm sure he needs it more than me. He can go get his perks back, I guess. So, I guess it's that time then. Let's head on into the old Elder Dark Aether. We got six monkey bombs, two Casimirs, and two uh, turret circuits, so that should be enough. Okay, here we go. So, escort contract first. It's always first. You should always do the escort first. Okay, I hear a mega stomping down below us, which is going to be like in between stop one and stop two. So maybe if we kill him now, that should get rid of him while we're doing the contract. So yeah, let's let's give it a shot. We have our triple packed VR-11. That's primarily what I wanted to use against these mega abominations to take them out as quickly as we can. And you can see one shot to one head right there took half of this guy's health. So awesome. Oh boy, here come the zombies. <laughs> here they come. Oh gosh, I can't aim this thing. It's so terrible. Oh, did that miss? How did that miss? Oh my, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we are not off to a good start. I mean, I had a couple of extra self-revives, but we are not off to a good start at all. Let's go ahead and see, can we get that? Nope, almost, we're out of ammo. Okay, he doesn't have much health left to him here. We're gonna use our energy mine. This guy's not doing too bad against these elder dark ether zombies. I mean, it's doing, it's doing well enough. Okay, that mega's gone. Now let's head on over to the ACV and get this contract going. We got this mega on our back and we got all of these zombies, but that's okay. Because we have this Renetti and just look at it rip through them. These are elder Dark Aether zombies and like we're, we're ripping through them. Let's get our VR-11 out here so we can deal with this Mega a lot quicker. We're wasting a lot of time here. We're down three minutes already on this contract. We haven't even gotten it started yet. Oh, no, don't go down again. Don't go down again. Turn a couple of these zombies. That'll help us out. Oh. Hold still so I can shoot you, please. I already can't aim, and you're just moving all around, beep bopping. It's enough already. Come on, hit hit the critical shot. Aim the gun, Cole Whip. There we go, finally. Okay. All right, now I think we can probably... Oh, jeez. Maybe get this contract started. This mimic off of us. Okay. Is that everybody? Did everybody get taken care of i think so all right let's get this started okay well mental note for later it doesn't matter if you kill that mega abomination before you start the escort contract because he's just gonna spawn back there again what is this why well that's just frustrating because that also cost us a self-revive in the process and is this guy even home ah there he is oh yeah knock knock me off my machine thank you um, yeah, so we got a lot going on here, but we got a VR-11, so we're just gonna stay alive and shoot the ACV. That's quite literally the goal. Just stay alive and shoot the ACV. It doesn't get any simpler if you have a VR-11 when you're doing this contract. That's, that's quite literally all you have to do. Stay alive, shoot the ACV. W with the VR-11, of course. Somebody made a comment on the YouTube video that I should throw my monkey bombs toward the little orbs. That way the laser kills the zombies. So we try that out. And I forgot to even look to see how well that worked. But I will say probably the only reason I'd want to throw it further... Oh, that hit something. Um, it's just to get the zombies a little bit more off of the machine. And keep them more away from you, if that makes any sense. But you can do it however you wish. Both ways will work just fine. That sentry gun is doing some work on that mega. Let's go. Uh-oh. I just wanted some ammo. Golly. All right, I'm sure we're going to have at least one or two more mega abominations up here. Oh, let's return that mangler. I'd shoot our ACV, and yep, there is one right there. Now, when you're doing the Elder, 99% of the time, there is going to be a sentry 
turret circuit at the end of the third stop. So hopefully we have one up there when we get there. But we'll just keep our ACV going. Like, and yeah, there's one up there. Sweet. So we'll just keep our ACV alive, and that's that's really it. I'm not really focused on killing any zombies. There's yeah, there's no reason to. We're tossed the sentry turret. Sentry circuit turret turret circuit. Okay, I'm not even. I'm done. I'm not gonna try to say it again because clearly I can't talk anymore. Yeah, stay alive. Shoot the sentry. We'll go ahead and throw that monkey bomb out there. And I'm pretty sure we just got like one slap to the ground. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm cr I could be crazy. All right, we're on our last self revive, so we gotta be careful now. Go ahead and still use our monkey bombs. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to throw them into that laser, see if it really helps. But we're keeping our machine at 100%. That's all it really takes. And then yeah, just hang out and run around in circles and don't let them hit you. Let that sentry turret do all the work for you. And just like that, we are done with the first contract. <laughs> now, there is only six and a half minutes left, so we have got to get a move on things. All right, first extractor here we'll just toss a monkey bomb and then we'll go and get this first one done okay perfect all right now for the second one we'll just use our energy mine that should take out enough of them that we can get the second one done yes all right and then finally for the last one one more monkey bomb and that should do it for that. As long as this mangler doesn't knock us off of it, he's gonna try. Ah, uh, and he did not succeed. All right, that will do that for that. Anything good inside of here? I see an ether blade, let's go. All right, and an outlast is an outlast. You've seen one, you've seen them all. But yeah, this gun is pretty darn good inside of MWZ. It'd be hard pressed to find a gun that's even better. This is right on line with the FJX and all of the other truly good weapons here inside of zombies. I'm gonna check another room or two here, see if we can get any kind of wonder weapon, a scorcher mainly. I just want a scorcher, that's really all I want. But yeah, this gun is absolutely incredible. I would definitely highly recommend giving this one a go. But if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like, hit the sub button, turn on those notifications, and my name is Cole Whip, and I'm out.